I am at the Orlando Premium Outlets on Vineland. I'm gonna check out the character warehouse, but it's not open yet. Uh, it opens up at 10 a.m. It is 9.47. I decided I wanna come and get here first for two different reasons. I wanna check to see if it's easier to park and if there's like some other stuff that are on the shelves bright and early before the store, right, right after the store opens. And there are parking spots everywhere. As you can tell from the clip before, I just pulled right in. But you can park anywhere, basically. <laughs> Look at that. There is absolutely tons of free parking spots. And the store opens up in like 13 minutes. And I parked right here because this is the entranceway to the food court. And if you walk through the food court, Right on the right hand side is the character warehouse, so it's very easy to get to. So now I'm just gonna wait until they actually open the doors. We only have 10 minutes left, but I like how they have the incredible summer advertised all over the place. Like there's the Up Bird show, and then on the other side, they have another one kind of showing a little bit of Toy Story Mania and maybe some Toy Story Land. It's interesting. Good morning. Ooh, and they opened up the doors. And look at what I found. The Disneyland monorail playset. at $34.99. There's no original price on it though, but I think it's around the $50 price range. I can't remember, but that is a beaut. And this is something I haven't seen before. A Disney grand opening uh, Shanghai watch. Look at that, beautiful. And it's $39.99. Originally $69.99 in yen if I know that right. I don't know actually though And look at this sweet little rack of polos This one's test track $29.99 originally $65. I haven't even gotten to the store actually I've seen the monorail there the watch there the polos here. I still got a long way to go oh, Little Beauty and the Beast light up dress figure set $5.99. $19.99 originally. She's my favorite. I liked how they just migrated almost all the Shanghai Disney stuff to this wall here. It's basically, what a score. Yip was literally talking about these just like five days ago. Wow, these are awesome coasters. Big Al, Liberty Tree, Casey's, and they're only $4.99. I actually have to get these for her because she loves them. To go with the Beauty and the Beast sets, they have Rapunzel and the Little Mermaid. And you can change her head. That's interesting. <laughs> and these are also $9.99. They got a pretty nifty Hollywood Tower Hotel wallet. It's only $7.99, originally $24.95. And they also have this one of Oswald. That's pretty cool. But that's only $3.99. That is a good deal. I feel super excited about these coasters. I'm like carrying them around like, Ooh. Yip's gonna love them. I did good. Well, I haven't seen these shirts in here before. And they're both women's shirts, but one's got Mickey, one's got Minnie on them. They're both $14.99. What are you pointing at? And that is a sweet Jack Skellington hoodie right there. $29.99. Everybody loves Nightmare Before Christmas. And they also have some of the original shirts. I like these a lot. $12.99. Ooh, and then they have this one too. I like this one. Pretty fancy. Oh, it's $12.99. They're both $12.99. That one's not bad too. 
Now I want to check out some of the houseware stuff because I think I've seen a couple of things that I haven't seen before. Like this Haunted Mansion mini tea set. Look at that. And it's only $24.99, originally $55. That's a steal. I also have this Once Upon a Time Shanghai Disney Resort photo frame. It's like a book. Look at that. $4.99. Ooh, Wilderness Lodge pillows. Oh, I don't know if I get a price on these. Oh, wait, I do. $9.99, originally $24.99. I love Wilderness Lodge, my favorite resort. And then I seen these cups here, and I was wondering what is Disney about them? <laughs> and I can see a little hidden Mickey. Look at that. $5.99 for the set of four of them. Ooh, a 28 in Maine coffee mug. $9.99. And the Dumbo salt and pepper set for $5.99. You can just see him flying around. And some more pillows. London to Neverland. Look at that. Oh, I forgot to check what the price was. Oh no, that's a fall. $19.99. Woo, that's a little expensive. Whenever it comes to the coffee mugs, they're all $5.99. But every time I come here, I always find at least one coffee mug I've never seen before. And I think I found two this time. Look at this. Big Thunder Ironworks. <laughs> the wildest ride in the wilderness. Well, I'm not really good at that. Yip's a lot better at saying that line. <laughs> and the Adventurers Club. That's awesome. So the store has only been open for about eight, nine minutes, and it's getting a little bit crowded. Fills up quick. Let's see if they got any new pins. I see an Elsa pin and an Olaf pin. I haven't seen those before. $5.99. Ooh, this Jack Sparrow one's pretty nifty too. That's $5.99 as well. This is a pretty awesome Goofy for $19.99. He's heavy too, very sturdy. This is a very sturdy, gosh, this is a very sturdy stuffed animal right here. And it looks like he's flying. <laughs> wow, and I think I found one of the best deals I've seen ever. The Tip Top Club Hollywood Tower of Terror bag. Look at that. And guess what? It's only a dollar. <laughs> That's amazing, right? Oh wait, nope, nope, it's $1.99. That's still such a great deal. I always wanted to go to the Tip Top Club. And that escalated quickly. <laughs> a line is back here now. They actually have quite a bit of Haunted Mansion merchandise. These are the tablecloths, $3.99. We have these actually. That's a great deal and they have a big stack of them. They also have the little wine bottle topper. I don't see a price for them. And lots of other cool jewelry. Ooh, a Haunted Mansion champagne glass, $5.99. And then a lot of Haunted Mansion shirts. Ooh, the Mad Hatter, which is this, $14.99. And look at these cool nifty things, $12.99 and they have three of the stretching portraits from the Haunted Mansion. They have that one, that one, and I think the other one's down here. Oh yeah, and that one. But no tight rope walker or tight rope girl. That'd be good if they had the whole set, but I checked through all of them. It'd be nifty. Okay, well, I think I'm done. It got very busy very quick in there. Uh, within the first hour, the line was all the way down the aisle way. But it was great in the beginning because, like I said, you come here before it opens, you don't have to worry about parking, and you kind of have like a couple minutes to yourself in the store. Well, not to yourself, just not with hundreds of people surrounding you. I did see a couple of items that actually sold out just in that little time. So that was interesting, but overall, definitely come as early as possible. So, love the life you live, and live the life you love. And if it's your first time watching, subscribe to our channel. You just might like it. And what is this? I've never seen such a thing. 